Hi there, my name is Ian Pace and welcome to my channel, Pace Creates. This is my third video based upon my third welding project, the little cutlery bird you see before you. Not overly happy with this one, but at the end of the day, it's only my third project. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there's more to come. Thank you very much. Bad enough with a couple of dessert spoons, one which will be used for the top of the body of the bird and one for the breast of the bird. Then I'm going to use a couple of forks, one for each wing. Three dessert spoons here with the same decorative pattern on the handles which I'm going to use for the tail fin feathers. So I don't like the look of these tail feathers. I think they're a little bit too long, so I'm gonna cut them back a little bit shorter. So now we have come to a new feature part of my videos, which I've decided to introduce to help track my welding ability progress. It's called the best world of the project. Although short, this one didn't start off so well, but got better near the end. Still, got a long way to go. So that weld proved to be rubbish. A teaspoon for the top of the head.
I'm really not sure here what to use to make the side of the head. So after all that, I've decided I'm going to go and use the handles from a couple of the forks that we used for the wings earlier. So it just managed to blow a hole in the top of his head, so now I'm just going to have to weld that back up. So for the back of the bed, I'm going to take another spoon, uh, cut it to shape and bend it slightly and weld that in place. Another piece of the spoon handle for the front of the face. I really should find my hammer. Now this next track up is called The Bird Therapist by Craig MacArthur. Now I had to use this when I saw it for obvious reasons and I think this poor bird would probably need therapy if it ever saw itself in the mirror. Now a couple of pieces of an old pastry fork for the feet. And now a couple of welds on either side of the face for the eyes. And finally, this metal disc, which I need to grind off the paint 
for the stand. And for any of you there that was wondering why I've placed a spoon up on the stand, that's because I didn't grind off the paint from the underneath of the metal disc and so it was insulated. So there you have it, the cutlery bird. Thank you for uh, watching through to the end of my video. I appreciate it. If you liked it and would like to see more, then please hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up. So my next video to come in a few weeks will be the cutlery arachnid or spider as everyone else will call it. I hope you join me for this video. Take care.